Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be heading to Elmley Nature Reserve, which is my local nature reserve, and it is known this time of year for short-eared owls. Now, we've had a few bad days of weather, really bad rain and wind, um, and today the sun's out, clear blue skies, so I'm going to head over there, try and get some marsh harriers this morning, um, and other little birds that are around, and then hopefully the short-eared owls come out a little bit early to start feeding, and let's go and see if we can get some shots. So we just arrived at Elmley Nature Reserve. This place is just something special. Um, it's just land as far as the eye can see. It's just so much space here. Um, and the wildlife here is just incredible. So one of the things I like about this place is you can use your car as a hide. So there's a long track, maybe a mile and a half, two miles from the entrance to the car park. And you can just pull up wherever you wish along that track to try and get photos. So wherever the bird is, you can just pull over and get some shots. But there is a car park and you can go for a lovely long walk here as well with many hides. Um, but for me, yeah, one of the main things for me is you can just shoot from your car. So this time of year, you can wrap up nice and toasty, sit in your car and get some shots out the window. So it's time to get the camera out. We've got the Canon R6 Mark II and the Canon 100 to 500 F7.1 at 500 mil. Let's see what we can get. So whilst I'm waiting, I'll um, run through some camera settings with you. On the, I'm running on this Canon. For owls, they, they fly pretty slow, so you can get away with a slower speed. I normally shoot owls at around 64800, but if the light is nice, I can bump it right up to whatever I want. Um, but I don't normally go lower than 640. Sometimes you can get away with 500, as long as you're nice and steady. Um, but yeah, around the 64800 mark, and then I'm shooting at 7.1 because that's the lowest my lens will go. Um, and then I normally let the ISO go on auto because this camera is pretty good at kind of working it all out. But I have the auto focus, uh, the ISO um, program to this wheel here. So when I'm shooting, if it's too dark or too light, I can easily just wheel it up, wheel it down um, to exactly how I want. And obviously with it being mirrorless, I can see exactly through the viewfinder what the shot's going to be like. Normally when you're driving around the countryside and things like that, you can kind of work out where an owl would normally hunt, like the, the, the habitat is perfect for where an owl would normally hunt. Whereas Elmy Nature Reserve, the whole nature reserve is absolutely perfect for an owl. So, <laughs> to be honest, you can really just sit anywhere and if you stayed there long enough, you will probably see an owl. So for wildlife photography, well, I, I like to shoot owls and I would never normally come out at, what's the time now, 11 o'clock in the morning. But today, like I said before I left, the sun's out, it's perfect blue sky. The last few days, even a week, has been really bad weather. So these birds have got to eat to stay alive. So any nice weather and there's hardly any wind. So I've took the gamble and hoping that they're going to be out early today. When I arrived at the gate, the guy said there's a barn owl out already this morning, but I know 11 o'clock is still a bit late, I should have come a little bit earlier, but I'll probably give it about an hour sitting right where I am right now to try and get the barn owl. And if I don't see that, I'll start and head back down the track and try and get some marsh areas and other little birds, lapwings and stuff like that. And then normally around two o'clock is when I start to see the short-eared owls come alive. And um, by the time half three, four o'clock comes, sometimes you can see 10 to 20 short-eared owls hunting around this land and it's just an incredible sight. Um, but yeah, hopefully the sun stays out exactly how it is and we can get some nice shots. And then hopefully, give it an hour or two, we should start seeing some movement with the owls. Um, hopefully, obviously, wildlife is wild and you can never tell when it's gonna come out and when it's not, so you can never guarantee to see anything. Um, it's just a waiting game and let's let's see what we can get. So 
So if you've seen my other videos, I used to use um, a Lumix GH6 um, with a Olympus 300mm f4, which was the equivalent to a 600mm f4. Um, now for me, that was a that was a perfect setup for me. Um, but for me, a big thing was autofocus, where this Canon R6 Mark II autofocus is just incredible. You haven't even got to think about it. Um, as long as the bird, as long as you point it straight at the bird, it's going to catch it. Yeah, as long as the eye's in shot, it will just snap straight onto the eye. And if it can't find the eye, it will just focus on the bird. Um, the only downside to this lens is the 7.1, and I don't like the way that it zoom, actually physically zooms in and out. I'd rather it just to have an internal zoom, um, or obviously a prime, but a prime, a Canon prime is very, very expensive. The only thing I miss about my Olympus lens is the f4, but... The so there's a couple of shots that I want to get of a short-eared owl. One of them, I'd love it flying directly towards me with a vole or some food in its feet or even in its mouth flying directly at me. That would be epic. And another shot I want to get is it on a perch, kind of just kind of close to me, just staring straight down the barrel. Um, so I've actually come to a spot now where there's some fences just to my right. And I've seen them hunting around here before, so... I'm just going with the gamble that they're hunting around this area and they want to stop for a rest. Now, short eared owls tend to stop just in grass, just, just on the side um, a lot. But they also obviously land on fence posts and things like that. So I'm going to stay here and hopefully get that perch shot that I want. But like I said earlier, I feel like it's going to be one of them days today. So we've just got to keep our fingers crossed and hopefully we start to see some movement soon. So I just had a marsh harrier come pretty close. Not ideal, We're still quite far away, but I think we got a couple of nice shots. about 10 marsh harriers just back there but there's no light on them now so this is when photography becomes not hard but for me personally once the light goes I tend to stop because I feel I'm not going to get anything from it because I'm going to have to bump the ISO right up or put the speed down and you're not just going to you're not going to get the nicest image I mean if it was something where I'm never going to see it again, I'll try and get a shot. But this place is on the doorstep for me, so I can come back at any time. I kind of had the feeling from when I got here today that today's going to be one of them days where it's not going to go your way. So, But the thing is, that's wildlife photography for you. You've got to actually come out to be in the chance of actually seeing things. So I'm glad I came out. It's still nice just to come out. But hey, that's the uh, fun and games of wildlife photography. I mean, you can never guarantee you're going to see anything. And today I've seen some bits, but to get actual photos of it, I've been a bit, a little bit too far away and things like that. So, whereas I could come another day and everything would be there at the end of my at the end of my lens. So, so if the sun doesn't come out in the next like 15 minutes or so, I'm probably going to call it a day there. Um, I'm going to actually upload this video because I spent the time filming it, so it's going to go out. Um, and obviously it shows you guys that, look, you win some, you lose some. Today I had one aim of trying to get some owls, whether they are barn owls or short-eared owls, and it didn't happen. But we go again, it was nice to come out. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, follow the journey, hopefully I'll do some more videos soon. And yeah, I'll catch you all soon.